we're going to take the car over here to the shed. Hold on, time out a minute. Just had somebody request a video on the 370Z, and my goodness, there's one right there. Definitely going to get keys of that in just a little bit. All right, what's up everybody? So uh, somebody requested just a few days ago lighting review or whatever I do on a Nissan 370Z. How about that? I actually got the keys to one. So stay tuned over the next few minutes as we take a look at the Nissan 370Z. Uh, this video is mostly going to be about the lighting on the vehicle, okay? So I mean, I'll show the car on the outside and inside, but we'll definitely be looking at the lights as well. Well, how about that? There it is right there. Y'all just seen it a second ago. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it was traded in uh, just a few days ago. Uh, the guy had a Chevy Corvette, or we had a Corvette on the lot. Uh, one with 483 horsepower. I didn't even get to see this vet. It was literally here for a day or two and boom, this guy came in quickly and traded in the Nissan on the vet. How about that? So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, do what we gotta do. Oh, this vehicle is not for sale. That's right, it is not for sale until it actually goes through that shop back there and gets its inspections done on it. But you know, hey, if you're interested in this car, uh, you're welcome to buy it uh, as soon as we get through the shop in the next few days here. So let's go ahead and hop in. It's low to the ground. All right. Smells good. Smells really good. It's a uh, it's a 2016. So oh, it's manual. Okay, so that means means I gotta first close the door, and then uh, I gotta. <laughs> this is always not too easy. Switch the uh, camera to the left hand. Crank her up. Put the foot on the clutch. The windshield wiper on. The switch the camera view around for you. Okay, uh, just like any Nissan 370Z, it's got a really nice tone to the exhaust when you crank it up. And I'll roll down the window so y'all can hear that. I'll rev it up a little bit for you. Ooh. When I, um, my foot was just regularly on the clutch, but when I revved it up and it got over 555 RPM, the clutch pedal kind of went in a little bit more. Anyways, maybe that's just normal. Uh, let's see here. There's the wipers. All right, let's close the uh, windows up. It's in drive. Let's make sure we're in first. Here's the mileage. And let's pull it up under this uh, shed over here, considering that uh, the rain is definitely... Oh, 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 that clutch under there, holy mackerel. It's got a lot of power, don't it? Definitely different. It's not your... It's definitely not your Honda Civic SI. That clutch, which I haven't drove the SI yet, but it's definitely not just your traditional manual transmission car. How about that? This is about the only YouTube channel you're gonna find a 370Z getting pulled under a shed out in the country <laughs> whoa come on clutch a little bit jiggly on me all right oh there we go all right all right it's in neutral all right let's get out and take a look all right everybody we got the nissan 370z parked under the shed out here in the country and we're going to take a look at the lighting again it's raining right now outside this is a good spot for me to be able to film these cars and get y'all be able to see the lights on them uh, considering that it gets dark before this or it gets dark after this place closes and uh yeah i don't get to hang out here until you know eight o'clock at night like i do at some of the other stores around town but um let's take a look at it looking good sporty looking car i mean really it is and these if you haven't driven a, a 370z before you just don't know i mean if you do get to drive a 370z you will know this car will haul freaking ass okay rear wheel drive v6 i mean it's got a lot of power under there a naturally aspirated engine so uh there's your blinker right there which is massive in size this got to be the biggest blinker bulb i've ever seen or set up on a uh, in the front of a car projector light little daytime running light there and then you got these nice looking leds down here in the bottom of the bumper on both sides so no side marker lights or anything like that on the side of the 370z your lights are pretty much front and rear oh you can smell that exhaust definitely pretty sweet are those little lights in there led up in this area here i do not know let me know they kind of look like it though up underneath no leds for your uh your license plate light so how do you open up the hatch if you don't want to go back into the car you can't okay i don't think well hold on no i was wrong there's a button right there okay there you go so i caught myself before i said something i shouldn't have said um where's your lighting back here for a night 
Don't know yet, I gotta cut the headlights on. How about that? Let's do that. Maybe some extra lights will come on when you do that. Booyah! Let's cut these blinkers off for a second. If you're wondering where that's at, it's right here. So yep, there's that light in the back. There's one right there. So that will shine right into your trunk at nighttime. Yeah, of course, there's no second row seats in the back. Again, it's a two-door two vehicle or two-seater. And I hear the rain hitting on the top of the tin, so it's definitely starting to rain a little bit harder. There's your headlights. Looking good. Those look like Xenons. I'm thinking they are Xenons. I do not think they're LED. But again, it's a 2016. Y'all let me know in the comments. Again, I shoot these videos on the fly. I learn from y'all, y'all learn from me. There we go, we're a big happy family. <laughs> Anyways, there's your 370Z lighting. Let's take a look at the interior lights, see what's going on in here, because this is where y'all spend a lot of time at. And this car is clean, it really is. Nice, clean car. So you got your Z that lights up right down there. Nissan always has a lot of red going on. Seats are in good shape. Very clean. All right, let's have a look around on the interior. I think it's pretty dark in here. Yeah, you can see this stuff pretty good. All right, so that's kind of what you got going on on your dash. Red over there, you got the kind of bluish white indiglo color there, and over there, 30,000 miles. Again, the headlights are on right now. Um, we don't have any lighting on your steering wheel. I mean, not even these little volume buttons down here have any illumination behind them. So that's kind of a downfall on the steering wheel. I think they should have something that illuminates those buttons and all. Right up there, you got some little pods, some little gauges going on. A temperature right there, battery, clock. Oh boy, it's humid outside. When you get in here with the cold AC, it's a little too cold. I mean, man, it's got my nipples hard and it's cold. Start, stop, engine button lights up in red. Uh, radio and all is in red. I mean, everything again is kind of red on here. Uh, what is this? You thought it was a nav screen? Well, you thought wrong. That's just some kind of cubby hole. And again, no lighting even in there. They could have put a little LED light in there. That would have been nice to just illuminate that area. Um, it is kind of wrapped in, in leather, which is nice. Um, seats aren't leather though. Uh, up top here, uh, it's gonna get bright for a second. There we go. Okay, now those are really nice and bright. That's for sure. Again, no LED lighting there. Um, if you want to uh, do your makeup, well, it, Nissan was nice enough to add a light right up here. Again, it's not that LED white color, which I think is uh, important for the ladies. I'm sure y'all have heard me say that enough on other night review videos. Uh, this side does have the light there as well, so she can do her makeup. That's really about it, okay? A little bit of lighting over there on your door panel for the uh, up and down and locks. But that's really all there is. For the most part, this is a dark inside, uh, this is a dark interior vehicle, okay? So when you're riding at night, you're in the pitch black dark for the most part, other than some light up stuff here. So if you need more lighting on the interior at nighttime, you may want to add some accent lights down on the bottom down there, under there. You know, go to a custom shop or stereo shop and they can add some lighting things. Or just do it yourself. Go to Pet Boys, buy one of those LED light strips and just run it up under here. I think that would just kind of set things off a little bit more. All right, let's put it in gear. All right, and let's pull out of this bad boy. Oh, God, that clutch is something, dude. Well, I guess it would help to take the e-brake off. All right, that might make it a little easier. All right, let's get out and take a look at it one more time just on the outside. Let's see what she looks like up under the trees here. All right, so there's your 2016 Nissan 370Z. Condition's great. I mean, no dents, stings, or scratches that I can see on it. Let's look at these wheels. Looking pretty nice. Got Yokohama tires on there. And uh, what size? Those are 18-inch wheels with a 225 50 series tire. Those are the Yokohama Advans. So that's a nice tire on there. And uh, I'm not sure, but it looks to me that the suspension's already been lowered on this 370. Or, I mean, let me know, guys and girls, if y'all know, you know, is that the standard uh, wheel well gap on a 370Z? To me, it looks lowered. It really does. I mean, I like cars that have that are lower to the ground. I like how they, they get rid of the wheel well gap. There could be some kind of suspension on here. I'm trying to see if there is. Definitely not seeing back there to see if there's any bright red or yellow blue springs. This one's in good shape though. I mean, the body looks good. Pretty decent mileage. It is, to me, it is a little bit high mileage for a 2016, but hey, 30,000 miles. Still can get financing on it. All that good stuff. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed watching that video right here at Ravenel Ford. All right, is everybody enjoying the rainy day vlog? 
Let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you are. Let's take a look at this. These uh, these two old muscle cars have been sitting here for a few years now. Um, this is probably a technician's old 5.0 Mustang body from in the shop right there. Technicians, they are uh, notorious for leaving their old vehicles in the car dealership parking lot, you know, instead of keeping them at home or whatever. But that's okay because they're working on them in the shop when they get time or when they get the money. But God, Ray. Does that look crazy or what? I mean, that engine's just, poof, it's gone.